give the government back to the people. Ms. Yasin, welcome. Thank you. I'm grateful that he chose me as someone who has zero political allegiances, but only a commitment to the people. In an historic news conference at the Legislative Building in Mineola, incumbent Nassau County Comptroller George Maragos announced Freeport-educated Ama Yalson as the first ever female and African-American as his leading candidate to replace him in the upcoming Nassau County primary elections. I'm grateful that he chose me as someone who has zero political allegiances, but only a commitment to the people. It was historical in the fact that this is the first time that Nassau County may have a woman and a person of color as comptroller. To be in front of the entire county announcing this candidacy, it was an amazing feeling. And to have my family there, my boys looking up at me, so proud, and my immigrant parents feeling like this is America. This is the dream realized. Thank you. For Yawson, a Harvard University graduate, it was an unexpected candidacy who describes herself as a political outsider and a community insider who understands the struggles of people who try to raise their families when taxes are high and income is low, relating her own family's struggles after migrating from Ghana in West Africa. My parents just basically struggled. They struggled to make ends meet, struggled to make a life for ourselves. And I think that for them, all of their dreams with respect to what they expected to achieve in America, to a certain extent, had to be deferred. So my father, although he was a PhD candidate, didn't get jobs in his field in educational sociology. He did random jobs such as delivery for a very long time. And so with that plaguing over us, those sort of unrealized dreams, the only way to feel fulfilled was to make sure that the children did well. I've been in this country for more than 40 years. I came here uh, as a graduate student at NYU and uh, my children and my wife joined me later. We were glad to have three kids and from day one, our ambition was to get them to get the best in America. Principally, we were focusing on the education because through education, everything would become possible. A happily married mother of two, Yawson owns an educational consulting practice. They noticed that Sune in particular had this spirally here that grew up while everyone's else's here grew down. And as a best-selling author of a book on bullying titled Sune's Gift, Yawson promotes the culture of acceptance to children of all ages throughout Long Island and beyond. What is most important is my role as a resident and as a mom, having two young boys who I want to succeed in life. I want them to have access to the best education. I want them to have access to the wonderful enrichment activities. I want them to grow and to do well and to be well. And so that experience to me is what counts the most because most often when people have these roles, they are either not moms or so removed from the everyday struggles of young motherhood that that does not weigh into their decision making. So for me to be able to bring that experience to bear and understanding what young families are going through, it's just invaluable. The announcement of her candidacy for controller, a person responsible for financial reporting procedures for the county, solidifies the expectations of her parents who arrived in America in search of the American dream. The only way to feel fulfilled was to make sure that the children did well. So from a very early age, they stressed education. I'm so excited about making Nassau County a better and more affordable place to live because I understand the struggles even with all of my education and the fact that my husband also does well. He does, he's in project finance. Things happen. When asked to run, I had to answer the call and say yes. The people on my team, George Maragos, who has an impeccable record as comptroller, Carl DeHaney, who has 14 years of public service experience and government experience, and me, who has that experience in the private sector, the education, but also the small business understanding and the understanding of the average person. With all of those components, we are going to succeed in making Nassau County better more affordable, more dynamic, and becoming a model for the rest of the country. This is not only a new era, but a new day and a new beginning for Nassau County. For Push Pause in Mineola, this is Archie Snowden.